Hi everyone, I am Dara Simi. I am on the Connections, Alpha and Response Teams in the Manchester Central Campus. I have been looking at the series, Who is Jesus to Me? And if you want to see previous devotions, you can check out the Audacious Church YouTube page. So for me, Jesus is my everything. Jesus is my Lord and Savior. He is my life. He is my life. In Him, I move, I live, I have my being. He is my Redeemer. In fact, He is my Kingsman Redeemer. He is my wisdom, my righteousness, my friend who sticks closer than a brother. Actually, Jesus is all these and more to me. And for me, one of the most profound re realizations that I've had is that Jesus is my righteousness. This is really mind-blowing for me. I get really excited anytime I remember that Jesus is my righteousness because it means I can always approach the Father without any sense of condemnation, without any sense of shame, because when God looks down, He sees me clothed in righteousness. And in fact, one of my favorite confessions is this, I am the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. I say this a lot. And this confession does two things for me. Firstly, it makes me conscious of my identity in Christ, who I am in Christ. And it so helps me to overcome thoughts of unworthiness. The constant consciousness that Jesus is my righteousness actually makes me grateful to him for, 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 for taking the nature of sin away and clothing me with his own nature. And then it also helps me to relate to God on the basis of grace and not works. Not on the basis of anything that I have done and not done, but because of what Jesus Christ has done for me. So Jesus is my righteousness. Another realization that makes me excited is that Jesus is my high priest friend. And perhaps you may not understand what I mean. I mean he's my friend and he's also my high priest at the same time. He's that high priest who gets me just like a friend does. He understands my weaknesses. Because he was sworn, tempted, and all the rest, but went completely without sin. So he knows what it means to struggle with sins, to struggle with weaknesses. And, 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 and I'm really grateful for that. And uh, we can see <clears throat> in 2 Corinthians and, and Hebrews, in 2 Corinthians 5.21, it says, For God made Christ, who never sinned, to be the offering for our sin, so that we could be made right with God through Christ. And Hebrews 4, 14 to 16 says this, Therefore, since we have a great high priest who has ascended into heaven, Jesus, the Son of God, let us hold firmly to the faith we profess. For we do not have a high priest who is unable to empathize with our weaknesses, but we have one who has been tempted in every way, just as we are, yet he did not sin. Let us then approach God's throne of grace with confidence so that we may receive mercy and find grace to help us in a time of need. Hallelujah. Jesus is not far removed from me. He's closer to me than anyone. He supplies me grace and strength in my weaknesses. He gives me grace to overcome weaknesses and failings because he understands. He's been through it and can supply me the necessary grace that I need. And since he's my friend, I can always be vulnerable with him. And this is really important for me. I can acknowledge my struggles and ask him for help. I'm not ashamed to tell him where I'm struggling, areas where I need his help. I'm always vulnerable with him because he's my friend. But he's also that high priest who helps me and who sends grace to me. And let me share one final verse with you so that you can meditate over it as well as the previous one. And it's, it is in 1 Corinthians 1.30. But it is due to him that you are in Christ Jesus, who became to us wisdom from God and righteousness and sanctification and redemption. Hallelujah! Jesus is my righteousness, high priest and friend. Meditate on this. Think about it, that Jesus is your friend. He is your righteousness. He is my righteousness, friend. Hallelujah. I wish you a good rest of your day. God bless you, friends. Shalom, shalom.